I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. The purpose of this exercise is to identify the strength in a dealt hand. This is a very important first step to picking a hand. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to alternate being dealer, non-dealer for these three random pulls. The first one will be the dealer. So I'll get 14 random tiles. Pair of Souths, Red Dragon. We have lots of BAMs. Two, five, six. Pair of Sevens, eight, pair of Nines. One, three, four in Cracks. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I think I would play five through nine. There's a hand right there, no gaps. Five, six, pairs, seven, eight, pungs, kongs. We need to build up, but there are no gaps. We might be able to play five, seven, nine if the six doesn't come in, because we need to make pairs out of that. Five through nine. Maybe keep the one and the three because there is a hand that uses two suits with a pair of flowers. One, three, five, we have a gap. Five, seven, nine as an option. And we have tiles we can pass. I think I'd pass those. Joker, Flower, White Dragon, 2, 3, 4 in Dots, 2, 8 in Cracks, 1, 6, 7, 9, Pair of Sevens in Bams. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? When I play, I like to build around multiples, the sevens. That's where I would start. Then I would look at the rest of the tiles and hold tiles that can support this pair. I think there are a lot of opportunities for flowers and there's some consecutive run potential. six, seven, eight, nine, and then I would pass those. The other thing I was thinking is that we could play two, three, four, dragon, or two, three, four, second hand down. Consecutive run around this multiple, I think will be a stronger choice. So I think what I would pass is one, two, four. One of each suit. Flower, northeast, west, pair of west, single bam, a one. Then in cracks, we have one, two, four, eight, pair of twos. Here we have three, five, eight in dots. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first pass? I think I would focus on 
wins and the twos. We could play east and west with twos. That's the fourth hand down under winds and dragons, but there's another hand we might be able to play, a pair hand with a sequence around that two. So I think I would hold wins and consecutive tiles around the two. These are a bit redundant because either way we're gonna need a three. So really one of these can go. The other thing I was thinking is we could keep the eight because we do have potential for two, four, six, eight here. So I think I might keep that as a plan B. I don't pass flowers or I, I should say rarely. There, there are some circumstances where I might pass a flower. For the pass, I think I would pass those. This looks promising for the news pair hand. So most likely these would go next. Focus on two, three, four or east and west with twos. American Mahjong is a game of multiples. So if you look for multiples first, that is the best place to start. Find tiles that can support the multiples and play a category that uses the most of your tiles. If you don't have multiples, look for the predominant pattern and pick a category that uses most of your tiles. If a multiple forms during the Charleston, reassess and build around the multiple. Gather tiles when you run out of discards, that's when you can go to the hand level. But if you play at the category level, build around multiples or the predominant pattern, you can set yourself up for success by the end of the Charleston. When I get to the end of the Charleston, if I have four tiles or less, I think that is an indicator of really good decision making. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.